The Batgirl test screenings has happened! Finally, we're getting the first reactions for the first test screening for Batgirl. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. So all the DC films are getting test screenings so far. We've heard of Black Adam, we've got The Flash, we've got Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, we also had Shazam Fury of the Gods. Well, now we're getting a test screening reaction for Batgirl. And according to overall reactions for the test screening, it, well, varies from positive to mixed. Now, you probably see a lot of comments out there saying it's overwhelmingly positive. Well, apparently, according to some scoopers, that's not the case. Big Screen League says anyone who said Batgirl got overwhelmingly positive reactions is lying. I've been told by quite a few people that the audience left with mixed reactions, and I've talked to people who liked it and people who didn't. But don't worry, this is exactly what test screenings are for. I have to agree, test screenings are just testing variations of the same film. This does not reflect the final film. Viewer Anon said, Anyway, I want more of a sample size from people who've seen that movie before I talk about any sort of reaction consensus. But I will say, I heard lots of audience members were confused when Mr. Keaton appeared. And it's probably because of the situation on whether or not Batgirl is going to release before The Flash or after The Flash. Obviously, all these test screenings for all these DC films are going at around the same time. And hopefully they will be released in the order that it's supposed to. Like The Flash was supposed to come out first, then Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, and then the Batgirl movie. But currently Batgirl does not have a release date. And it's unsure whether or not Batgirl is going to theaters or HBO Max. And so obviously the audience members are pretty much the general audience that are going to see these test screenings. And they're probably confused because they haven't watched The Flash movie yet in order to understand that Mike Michael Keaton is the new DCEU Batman after that movie. So if any case, this test screening does kind of prove that Batgirl should come out after the Flash movie. But there are some interesting information in regards to the characters from the Batgirl that I'm going to talk about here. Apparently, Brendan Fraser's Firefly is like the highlight of this movie. He is not an evil villain. He actually has a troubled life, desperate and violent for a personal cause. Meaning that you'll probably have an emotional connection with the villain. That he is a villain because he needs to be for a certain someone. J.K. Simmons returns as Commissioner Gordon. He's supposed to be this sweet and funny. He has an emotional arc dealing with Babs past losing her mother. But Michael Keaton returns as Batman in this and apparently he's pretty awesome. In fact, his entrance is like this Danny Elfman and Batfleck theme combined together? What is that about? Having Danny Elfman's and Batflix theme together, it just, I don't know, it just reminds me of the Justice League that happened and I don't know. But because it's actually Michael Keaton returning as Batman, then hearing his theme would actually make sense. But they also said that this is just a test screening, so maybe this is just placeholder stuff and the actual soundtrack will be put together later. But Michael Keaton returning as Batman being a badass is actually pretty exciting as I did grow up as Michael Keaton being my Batman. But the thing is that he and Batgirl apparently have a no-kill rule. Alright, so I guess this is not the murderous Michael Keaton Batman from the Tim Burton universe. This is like a different version of that in a different universe. And it's also interesting to see a bunch of comments that doesn't actually say how good is the main character. How good is Batgirl? I can only assume Leslie Grace is sufficient as Batgirl because I don't see any negatives or even positives about the main character. I think everybody was just wanting to see cameos? And get this, according to the test screen, there are no cameos other than having Michael Keaton return as Batman. 
Like, we thought that Black Canary was supposed to show up in this movie, and there was a lot of subtle hints and rumors that she would be, but apparently according to this test screening and only this test screening, Black Canary does not show up. Another hero that does not show up is Nightwing. Even though we get to see a little bit of Robin in that mural that was leaked out to the entire internet, apparently there's not going to be any Nightwing, at least this test screening. There are two other references that will probably blow your mind, or maybe it's just Easter eggs in the background for a certain scene, but we do have an Easter egg reference to Harley Quinn involving some of her items being shown. We also have a reference of Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman in this universe, and it's just a small little Easter egg that you see in the background, which probably means that she is the Catwoman of this DCEU. Otherwise, it's nothing too spectacular, nothing too big as of this moment. They're, they're saying it is mixed reactions because, you know, some people liked it and some people didn't. So that equates to a mixed reaction. Now, whether or not that mixed reaction is because of the overall film or because of Michael Keaton's presence as being confusing or not, that remains to be seen. But like I said, this is just the first test screening. There's going to be multiple test screenings. And judging from the reactions from this test screening, I would say the studio will probably push this movie to after the Flash movie as it was originally intended. Alright, what do you think of these first reactions for Batgirl? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.